Hello, Christian and channel members, viewers and subscribers. Very good day to you all. So once again, I am really happy to meet you all. This time with a genuine review of a very famous journal. It is called as Russian Law Journal. Some say that uh, this journal is indexed in Scopus. Some say that it has been discontinued from Scopus. Some say the journal is only in Scopus, not in Web of Science. Some say that the journal is only in Web of Science and not in Scopus. So to put an end to our confusion, definitely we can see the review of this journal. So in this video, we are going to find whether this journal is currently removed from the indexing in the Scopus database and whether this journal is there in the Web of Science indexing. Also through this video, we will identify what are the processing or maybe publication charges with this particular journal. So I believe this review will be definitely useful for the faculty members, researchers and of course our fellow colleagues as well. So without wasting much of our time, let us go straight into the review part of the Russian Law Journal. So this is our journal of today. The name of the journal is Russian Law Journal. So we are searching in the Google. So we are getting some search results, uh, Russian Law Journal, a uh, website has been given. Okay, so also we can find uh, the Sai Imago JR link as well. And of course, DOAJ. Also, we have a Journal of Russian Law. Okay, so this is the website, Journal of Russian Law. Okay, so this Journal of Russian Law is definitely uh, different from the Russian Law Journal that you should identify. Also, we can find like similar links in the uh, IC index copernicus.com. So what we do, we straight away go to this Russian law journal. So uh, Russian law journal .org. So this is the first uh, link that we see here. Okay. So it's it shows that it's a peer reviewed academic journal. Uh, so the primary uh, language is English language. Okay. And uh, they show that uh, it has been indexed by the Scopus and ESCA Web of Science. Okay, so we'll try to find out whether it is really indexed or not. As far as I have searched, this journal is not in the Scopus. Okay, so they have mentioned call for papers here. So the last date of submission is June 15, 2023. Suppose if you have research papers related to law field, then definitely this journal would be useful for you. Uh, also, you should note that this journal, uh, they are publishing only four regular issues which means that they are public and others all are special issues and uh, the four public issues have been maintained by the journal and the special issues have been maintained by the uh, like uh, co-editors or maybe guest editors okay mainly guest editors so that thing you should understand so we can go to a uh, journal information about the journal when we go through the aims and scope of this particular journal so we can find that uh, it is one of the you know premium journal that is publishing the research article in the English language. As you know that in Russia, they give more importance to the Russian language. But of course, uh, they have mentioned that they are publishing articles in English language. With regards to the subjects, if your research paper falls into uh, the field of constitutional law, private international law, international civil law, international public law, civil procedure, philosophy, everything like criminal law, international criminal law, everything related to society, law and economics, then definitely you can submit your research paper. So again, our people would be asking, I have a research paper in engineering and technology, whether I can submit research paper to this particular journal. So it is your decision because they have given these other subjects. So your research paper, if it falls in these fields, then definitely your research paper will be indexed. Otherwise, it will not be indexed. Again, where where it is going to be indexed, we are going to find out. Also, when we go through the indexation uh, section, okay, so you can find where it has been indexed. So they say it is in Scopus, it is also in ESCA, Web of Science Core Collections. So we'll try to find out whether this uh, journal is really indexed in Scopus and Web of Science. We also have a section of author fee. So when we go through the details, uh, we are not getting any information. Even I am trying to search fee. Okay, author fee. Okay, so it shows that uh, this journal, Russia Law Journal, conducts peer review for a profit. Okay, it's it doesn't show that it's non-profit. It's for profit. Okay, Russian Law Journal charges no author site fee at all. Okay, so this is the thing they have given. Okay. 
we can quickly go through the editorial uh, team section so uh, like uh, editor and chief nothing details has been displayed okay i can find uh, some people from india so uh, why there is not much of the internationalism in the editorial board i am just having a go through when we went through the editorial board section uh, like uh, the contact email id or maybe a proper affiliation has not been mentioned I really don't know how this journal has entered the scopus and web of science indexing without you know complete details we can also go through the current issue as well so you can see the latest issue is volume 11 issue number 10 special issue 2023 so you can find more articles here but not many articles with this particular journal okay so that is an alarming sign why people are not choosing this particular journal here you can find the archive section as well so uh, basically when i went through uh, the journal issues i can find they are publishing four public uh, regular issues and remaining all special issues so special issues have been handled by the uh, guest editors and the regular issues have been handled by the editorial board members so they have also mentioned author guideline section as well as i told you for our benefit please try to include your orchid id in your research paper and of course they have mentioned the articles should be between 5000 and 8000 words long including the references so that thing you should mention and 150 word abstract as well so everything has been given crystal clear with regards to cases with regards to articles with regards to references everything has been mentioned clearly also in the journal information you can find the contact section as well so i'm surprised because publisher office has been mentioned russian law journal and they have given in russian okay so the contact number it's a oman number a musket oman number i really don't know why uh, there is connection between Oman and uh, Russia for this particular journal and the principal contact they have given only email ID no contact number no uh, complete uh, affiliation or maybe the address with pin code so that has not been mentioned only the email ID is mentioned also when you see the home page of the section you can find that uh, this is the information we are glad to inform you that Russian law journal has now entered Q2 rank in the Scopus and Q3 rank in the ESCA. We will try to find out the real scenario. So we can check this particular journal in the Sci Amigo JR. So you can type, okay, so Russian Law Journal and definitely you will get the search result. So Russian Law Journal, it falls under social sciences. Okay, so it, the country is Russian Federation. So the ISSN has been verified what the journal has put up in the first website, the same ISN number you can find both the online as well as print number you can find that the h index is 7 according to sci imago jr okay so the good thing is the information has been mentioned the home page has been mentioned if i click on this home page then definitely it is pointing to russianlawjournal.org so which is the first website that we have reviewed okay and similarly how to publish in this journal that also points to the same website so which means that the website we have reviewed is the german journal okay and information uh, the email id what is mentioned is correct so you can find the coverage is up to 2021 as you know sci imago jr always you know puts one year before okay so they have verified fully up to 2022 so the coverage is up to 2021 they have mentioned it this way okay so down if you scroll down you can find the quartiles so up to 2021 it was in q2 but 2022 it was in q4 and we don't know whether this journal has been indexed or not okay by sai omega jr it they show that it is not currently indexed in scopus and only law field is mentioned so here the two year four year five year statistics has been mentioned down as you scroll through the comments you can find uh, uh, the people asking how long does it take to publish how much is the processing charges so the website they have clearly mentioned no processing charges but people you know keep on asking questions whether it is in scopus or not because the coverage uh, years show up to 2021 how about 2023 they are asking repeated questions of course you know the team members uh, from sai omega jr will not uh, give you the apt suitable uh, exact reply to your question they will simply give a uh, a very generated auto generated message as well so this is the comment you should uh, actually look at so one from indra uh, she has mentioned the journal has been discontinued from scopus and all of the 2022 to 2023 articles have been retroactively rendered invalid and de-indexed from scopus we'll try to find out the actual scenario 
So many of them have clearly pointed out that this journal is publishing four regular issues and up to 18 special issues. So maybe the paper count is also 20 to 25 pages, which is also a good thing. And also uh, another good thing is that this journal does not fall into uh, Bell's predatory journal list. So the best place to find out about this journal is scopus.com. So maybe you can click on this sources and please make sure that title is selected. And here you can type Russian law. Okay, Russian law journal. So we can getting some search result. It's not Russian politics and law. It is Russian law journal. You can click on this one. So down you can see Russian law journal. The site score is 0 0.6. Uh, citations we are getting 56 citations and percentage cited is 33 which is fairly good okay when we went through the russian law journal it shows scopus coverage years from 2013 till 2021 which means we are right now in 2023 it is not currently indexed in scopus according to this uh, database okay so the publisher has been mentioned supporting academic initiatives uh, foundation the issn what is mentioned in the website what is mentioned in the sai omega jr we are finding here subject area has not been mentioned okay and we can see the scopus content coverage as well so you can see only up to 2021 uh, we are having articles in Scopus and that too 25 documents even. I really don't know why uh, if they are not currently in Scopus. Maybe they would not have ma maintained the standards with regards to the Scopus. So nothing has been clickable. Earlier it used to be clickable but now it's not clickable. Maybe some uh, back-end uh, maintenance is going on with the Scopus. But you can see from 2013 to 2021 you can find documents here as uh, we see like uh, 2022 2023 maybe those articles would have been in scopus and maybe they would have been uh, removed from the scopus database because of uh, the reason that this journal is discontinued in the scopus so this is a definitely a bad news for those people who have published the research articles in 2022 and 2023 their articles will not be in scopus so let us not lose our heart definitely we can uh, search in the uh, web of science list so master journalist so you can search for russian law journal okay so i'm going to search for this particular journal uh, please note that i have already logged in here okay because i wish to uh, view the profile page of this journal so you can find the exact match found russian law journal the same isn has been mentioned so you can find the indexing esca emerging sources citation index so i'm clicking on the view profile page to get the actual uh, details so you can find journal website and publisher website so journal website according to uh, mjl master journalist is the same journal what we have reviewed and we also have a publisher website so uh, they have given a statute.ru so publisher website is different from the uh, journal website that also you can find everything has been displayed in the russian language so you can find that uh, according to web of science the first year published is 2013 it's a quarterly journal okay so uh, that clearly uh, gets aligned to what we saw in the journal so they are publishing four regular issues of course it is correct uh, the country russian federation of course everything in the pdf in the english language An average number of weeks from the submission till publication it takes five weeks so maybe like one month they are taking in order to publish your research articles after successful review so we have verified that this particular journal is currently in the web of science but anyway we will check in the web of science whether the articles present in this journal are indexed in the web of science so here you can go for web of science.com please note that i have please note that i have already logged in in order to get more details about this journal so we are going to go to scopus and we are going to take this issn number and we are going to paste in uh, this particular area okay please make sure that you have selected all fields okay then you can click on the search so you can find more of the searches 318 search results so this is one article from 2023 okay from the russian law journal okay so what we are going to do we are going to copy this particular title we are going to paste it and we can click on the search button 
so we have got some search result okay so the exact search result we have got so the volume and issue details have been mentioned volume 11 issue number one yes okay so which means that special issue articles even are getting indexed in the web of science which is a very good sign so as we see that this journal is currently not indexed in scopus but definitely indexed in the web of science in the journal they have not mentioned any of the processing charges so what we do we try to search in the google so uh, this particular journal russian law journal processing charges so we are getting some search result 950 us dollars that we'll try to find out so this website is basically in the russian language i have translated in the english language we can find that the price is thousand hundred dollars okay for the fast track and they take along around 21 days whether it is accepted or rejected even though they are taking that much days and they are publishing with these charges of course you know 1100 it's a huge amount that's great greater than 80,000 in indian rupees but uh, through the back door i understood that this journal is charging you know 300 dollars for you know publication of uh, research articles and they take approximately one month for publication i even have come across agents charging 400 dollars 450 dollars for this particular journal with this journal currently removed from the scopus database but still continuing in the web of science database we can find okay fairly you know good number of articles uh, quality articles have been published by the journal they are not publishing too many articles uh, so far it is okay maybe in the future if they try to publish too many articles then definitely this journal will be removed from the web of science uh, database as well so if you have any clarification queries or doubts please share them in the comment section so i believe that uh, you would have benefited a lot out of this video so whenever you are submitting your research paper to your scopus or maybe web of science index journal please check the genuine review of our channel then definitely you will get to know a very genuine idea whether to submit to the journal whether to proceed with the journal or not because your hard earned money should be useful for your career enough see you then in another interesting genuine scopus or maybe web of science or maybe ugc care conference or maybe journal publication till then collaboration is everything